According to the 2019 mid-year report, private sector credit increased by 5.7%, a total of $238.8 billion, as a result of investments from both businesses and households. The report also shows an expansion of the manufacturing sector by 3.6% and the services and construction sectors by 4.5%. Finance Minister Winston Jordan said the report shows that there is no decline in businesses despite complaints from the various private sector organizations. There are all these different um, uh, factors that have to go in to any broad statement that is being made. Now, you have the evidence here, and this evidence is backed by Bank Guyana because we get our monetary data from the Bank Guyana. We don't pluck it here, they do that monetary. So you have evidence showing that rather than declining, private sector growth, private sector credit has been expanding. And you could see evidence of that all over again. Where is the evidence of the decline? At a panel discussion held by the American Chamber of Commerce, AmCham, on August 5th, Senior Counsel Ralph Ramkaran and former Attorney General Alan Landlal said the business community is being stymied as a result of government's refusal to set a date for general and regional elections. Additionally, President of the Quarantine Chamber of Commerce, Mohamed Rafiq, told those gathered at the forum that business declined by 30 to 35 percent in Barbies. However, Jordan accused the private sector body of creating these figures. You have no evidence of this slump, none coming out of the Bank of Guyana or anyway, but you hear these figures being trotted out. But if you use Bank of Guyana figures and you use the figures at the half year, it will show that net domestic credit has expanded by 14.1% at the end of June. The minister said some businesses need to examine what is contributing to their decline to ensure it is not as a result of their own actions. The mid-year report shows an expansion of the gold mining sector by 4.4%, mining and quarrying by 2.6%, rice by 3.7%, and livestock by 8.1%. Meanwhile, Bauxite contracted by 2.9% as a result of sanctions faced by the Bauxite Company of Ghana Limited, owned by Rusal. The sugar sector also fell short of its production target by 1%, with output reaching 33,531 metric tons. Bibi Katun, reporting for the newsroom.